It is the Arden AJ23 Race Cat. Catch me if you can with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today I'll be taking you on a drive in this very cool Jaguar F-Type SVR. It is the Arden AJ23 Race Cat and it is ridiculous. It is crazy to look at, it sounds insane, it is crazy fast and well I'll walk around it, show you everything that Arden have done and then we'll take it for a drive on this road and also take it to the Autobahn. But a quick disclaimer, this car has already been sold. So uh, the owner, the new owner has been kind enough to allow us to drive it, but it has had uh, its pistons changed recently and there have been a couple of things done to it so we can't do more than five and a half thousand rpm um, so it was that or don't drive it at all so well we went for this option uh, but don't worry it is still ridiculously quick it still sounds amazing and well just look at it it looks so aggressive and well let's start at the front as you can see the license plate is behind the window so we have a really nice aggressive front i would say like jaguar intended it to be uh, normally there's this plastic bar going across the grill and the license plate is mounted on that but now arden have changed the grill so it's just black with uh, a jaguar logo in there which is also illuminated and well i think this looks much much better what else well new front apron so the lower part of the front bumper these yeah how should i call them winglets i would say carbon fiber as i said all black mesh in the grill some arden striping on the hood we've got 21 inch arden sportsline gt wheels forged wheels uh, with center lock caps which I think, you know, this is a very, very nice looking wheel. This SVR also has Jaguar carbon ceramic brakes, which is always great to have. Very aggressive side skirts. I mean, just look at how much they stand out. Uh, again, with carbon fiber, you can get this entire part in carbon fiber, but with this one, this is painted. This is carbon fiber, obviously. Some more wheels. It has an SVR spoiler which is actually active uh, as you can see so there are some mounts in there and this spoiler actually moves but this is just original jaguar and arden is this rear bumper with carbon fiber diffuser carbon fiber exhaust tips and again those winglets on the side i mean <laughs> how aggressive does this thing look it looks so cool I really love it and a very nice touch is that this has been changed so it now says Arden I think that is a really cool detail so let's check out the engine oh <laughs> nice Max of course it opens like this so we've got the 5 liter v8 supercharged one of the all great engines if you ask me uh, but it has been tickled by arden so we have as i said it has new forged pistons uh, it has a new carbon fiber intake it has a new cooling system and it has that new exhaust and it also has some uh, ECU remapping done so as standard this little baby here delivers 575 horsepower and 700 newton meters it now delivers 703 horsepower and 873 newton meters that is ridiculous this also looks cool very nice 
Yeah, so stock SVR will do three and a half seconds to 100 kilometers an hour and has a top speed of 322 kilometers an hour. Well, this one with 700 plus horsepower. I don't know, we're not going to find out today, but it is really cool. Okay, uh, interior also Arden with these illuminated door sills. It has Arden floor mats with really beautiful leather and stitching. And it also has uh, these new seats, which are upholstered by Arden as well with an Arden logo embroidered on there. So what else? Well, we've got a lot of Alcantara here and this aluminum coated textile, I believe it's called, which looks pretty cool as well. And an Arden steering wheel, which I really like. I really like the look of it. I really like the feel of it. Uh, it has an SVR and an Arden badge with Alcantara at the bottom and at the top leather, perforated leather here and some really nice pedal shifters as well. And well, I guess that's it. Well, we also have a glass roof. You can get a carbon fiber roof uh, on the new SVRs, on the new F types, but this doesn't have that. Alrighty, uh, I, I did want to show you or ask you something. Anyone watching this, have you seen the movie? Catch Me If You Can with Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hanks. Listen to this. I mean, that's just, that's it. That's the tune from the film. Really cool. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that uh, little sidestep there. Alrighty, well, we are in normal mode right now and we have the exhaust valves closed as you can see there's an, an exhaust button it's closed um, so this exhaust has two settings crazy and insane all right here we go so this is valves closed <laughs> yeah okay but, but this is already so loud, I don't really understand. Okay. We'll get back to this tunnel later, don't worry. Driving wise, well, Arden have also lowered it by about 25 millimeters, I believe. Uh, but it hasn't really lost its comfort. So when we drove here uh, on the Autobahn, it was still quite compliant. Um, it's not that hard, it's not that rough. I don't know why I went this way and got stuck behind that truck we're not going to do that alrighty yeah okay so um, we're in normal mode you know it's it's very loud but an SVR is loud to begin with so that's nothing you know that's not really surprising but that Arden exhaust really comes to life when you go to dynamic mode Gearbox in sport mode, ZF gearbox. So the exhaust valves open now. And well, since we've got that tunnel here, why not? Okay, windows down, some revving. Okay, prepare for this. God! <laughs> that is so loud! That, oh man, that is insane. So we're... That is seriously loud. And I love the character of this engine. That that messy oh there's nothing refined about this it's just messy and dirty 
Oh, I love it so much. It's been a while since we drove a car with this engine. Oh. And it's a bit, it's a bit weird. I mean, we've never driven an SVR. Uh, we've never made videos about it. We've driven an F-Type convertible with this engine with 495 horsepower. That was the F-Type V8S. But after that, they came with the F-Type R, which also got an all-wheel drive version with 550 horsepower. And then they came with this one. I mean, there are just so many different flavors of F-Type and of this engine in general. I'm not complaining, it's just, it, it, it got a little bit confusing. Oh man. Oh! Oh my god, I heard the supercharger that time. I hope you can hear. This, this is one of the most insane sounding cars we've ever driven. Oh. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get that supercharger sound again. Window down, I think it was like first, second gear. Yes, Arden. Oh, naughty, naughty, naughty Arden. This is insane. Okay, I'll switch on this GoPro for you. So remember, I can't really go over five and a half thousand RPM, you know, maybe once or something, but I have to abide by the rules set by Arden because you know this is someone else's car so I'm going to treat it like that the steering feel is really light by the way okay here we go this is what 700 British horsepower sound like it is Ridiculous, it sounds so vulgar. And I mean, it's a pity I can't really push it. I'm not, I'm really not going to because that would be just respect, disrespectful. But my god, is this thing fast! experience this car whoever bought it is going to have a lot of fun with it because it is mental completely mental oh okay let's turn around do a quick little autobound piece and then uh, yeah we'll have to we'll have to bring it back because we have to bring it to the new owner Let's go. <laughs> oh, this is a show. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that steering, that was where I left off. That steering feel is so light, it is really hyperactive, but. You sort of get used to it, somehow. So if you have a Jaguar or a Range Rover or something like that, check out Arden 
uh, they have a lot of stuff for all Jaguars, all Range Rovers and you know they were one of the first companies that said yes when we went around and asked for cars to start our YouTube channel. We drove their XKR, the uh, Wildcat I think it was called and it had like 560, 580 horsepower and it was totally insane. I mean it was really the first video on our channel and it was this crazy XKR. So they specialize in these supercharged engines with the, those crazy exhausts. I mean it is insane. It really is. Thanks guys, see you at the next one, bye.